before build the follow focus system. Please download the RAR file. The link is at description below the YouTube video. Check the part list and read the manual instruction. We try to make a simple tutorial that easy to understand for everyone. Even though they have no knowledge in electrical or programming, but still can use this system. For better performance, I suggest you to make all wiring connection with permanent soldering. And please download the X loader. This software need to upload the hex file to Arduino. Please install the serial Bluetooth terminal application from Play Store or App Store. This app will need to monitoring internal parameter and hardware connection at first installation. On RAR file, we also give a simple sample bracket. Here, in PCB design. So you can use it. Or maybe you can make better design by yourself. Everything is up to you. Prepare the USB cable and an Arduino Nano board. And now you can open the X loader. Open the folder where you save the downloaded hex file. Open it hex file. Select the Arduino Nano device. To find out what your port is, you check at the control panel. Go to the system. Go to device manager. And look at the port number is. Make sure the two comms are the same. And now you can click the upload button. Please wait for the upload process to complete perfectly. The upload process is complete. You can see the LED indicator blinking fast. Upload process is complete. After hex file uploaded, there is one thing you have to do. You must block some pins with permanent soldering. Without this step, this system will never work. And please never plug the USB cable into Arduino again. And now, turn on the main power. Prepare a smartphone or tablet. Go to setting. Turn on the Bluetooth device. New devices that have been detected will appear. The default pairing password is 1234. Now open the serial Bluetooth apps. Go to setting. Set the fonts to monospace. Disable timestamps. Select the Bluetooth device that you just paired. The system has been connected to your smartphone or tablet. When it first turns on, enter Z. 
on first time startup system need to check your analog sensor reading move the potentio one by one from minimal to maximal position welcome to the trial system mode Enter, 8 to trial running mode. You must answer a question to running the main system. Question will always appear on trial version mode. In trial version, system only running after input the right answer. Congratulations! Now the main system is running in trial version. Now move your potentio and see the servo running. Digital hardware monitoring will make you easier to find the wiring problems. For running system in trial version must input A, and answer the question first. But for checking function, you can monitoring at any time. Make sure the first servo will move after input CS1. Make sure the second servo will move after input CS2. CB is for checking all buttons. Click. Double clicks. Triple clicks. Press hold. One click on button K will deactivate all checking function. Input X is also for deactivate all checking function. Input CP will activate potentio value monitoring. If potentio value cannot reach at zero until 1023 value, please check again your wiring cables. Hold button K and triple clicks button 1 used for enable or disable servo 1. Hold button K and triple clicks button 2 used for enable or disable servo 2. Your last settings will saved automatically to internal memory. Double clicks button 1 will change the first servo direction to invert. Double clicks button 2 will change the second servo direction to invert. Your last settings will save automatically to internal memory. How to calibration servo degrees. For servo 1, first step is, click button 1 at 3 times. Move servo 1 to limit A. Click button 1 once. Move servo 1 to second limit. Click button 1 once. 
Servo 1 was calibrated with degrees limits. How to delete the limits of Servo 1? Click button 1 at 3 times. And then click button 1 at 2 times. Servo 1 is back to normal max and min limit by servo motor. The same way can do for servo 2. Click button 2 3 times. Move servo 2 to first limit. Click button 2 once. Move servo 2 to second limit. Click button 2 once. Servo 2 was calibrated with your setting limits. How to delete servo 2 calibration is Click button 2 3 times Click button 2 2 times Servo 2 is back to normal without calibrated limit This is example how the calibration function work to make the degrees limit for your telescopic optical lens When without limit on max potentio, servo will move to max position, and when potentio on min position, servo will go to min position. It total 180 degrees. And now let's try how calibration function is works. Click button 2 3 times. Move servo near to limit. Imagine this is your lens limit. Click button 2 once. Move to second limit. Click button 2 once. The servo limit degrees was set it. Wherever your knob position is. Servo never pass the limit. How to save and load servo position. By hold press buttons number, will save servo 1 and 2 positions to memory number. By single click buttons number. We'll call our load servo 1 and 2 save positions. You can adjust the speed loading with speed potentio. More minimized potentio position will make more slow speed loading. Every last position saving will save to internal memory. It will not erase although you restart the system. At loading mode, Potentio knob is locked by system, so if you wanna back to knob your servo. Just need single click button K for back to knobbing function again. Ha ha ha. How to make this system to be unlimited using click connect if nothing appear on display restart the nano board insert b and enter you can insert the license key now if you have it but if not insert c to check the prices Chapter the screen and email it to us. We will tell you where to pay. And we will send the license key after it paid.
and when you got the license code, copy it from email, and paste it there. Click enter. Now your board is unlimited version. No need to answer the question like on trial version. One license key only can use for one Arduino ID, because every Arduino have different ID number. Check the lens limit, and move it manually to middle position. Check servo and potentio, and move it to middle position too. Connect the servo to the lens rubber gear. Lock the servo bracket. Click button 1 at 3 times. Move servo 2 to first limit. Click button 1 once. Move to second limit. Click button 1 once. Servo 1 was calibrated with degrees limits. Double clicks button 1 will change the first servo direction to invert. Double clicks button 2 will change the second servo direction to invert. Like a startling 